Oh, man, they trying to put that duck talk on my girl. They trying to put that duck talk on my girl. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA, and I am here to talk about the recent words put out by the one and only Yana Foxy Kunitskaya. Whew. Um, so we are looking for Yana to return, you know what I'm saying, first quarter of 2023, maybe by summer of 2023. <laughs> We'll be looking for a Yana Kuniskaya return. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's already been some people talking about Yana Kuniskaya. You know what I'm saying? They want that number six spot. Chelsea Chandler been been talking about it. Macy <clears throat> Macy Shiasson been talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what was actually said here. Um, number six ranked UFC Bantamweight contender Yana Kunitskaya has responded to a recent call out from Chelsea Chandler. So let's see what Yana said. Yana... We'll be looking to return early 2023 after giving birth to her daughter. Okay, let's see. Okay, during a chat with WMMA rankings on Sunday, Kunitskaya says she has no interest in fighting Chandler. Okay, let's see what Yana has to say. At least not until she enters the top 10. So Yana not playing that game. You know, already Yana not playing that game. She not playing that let me put my spot up. You know what I'm saying? She's not playing that game. You know what I'm saying? Yana wants to fight up. She's deserved the right to fight up. You know what I'm saying? So I can't see why I should put any attention to this call out. I would like to fight after she enters the top 10 rankings. Yana only wants to fight ranked opponents. So I, I, I get it. Even though somebody like Chelsea Chandler comes in and makes that kind of a splash. Like, you got to take that smoke, though. <laughs> um uh, let's see. Upon her return to the cage, Kunitskaya says she is willing to fight anyone that is ranked at Bantamweight other than Macy Chasson. She, she explains that her recent opponents um, may, weight misses, <clears throat> missed weight, and that she doesn't want to risk taking another fight against someone who she feels may miss the 135-pound mark. So Yana, true professional. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Yana's a true professional. Her last two, I think it was um, Aspen Ladd and Irene Aldana. They both missed, or or was no, it was um, Stolyarenko and Aldana. Both I think missed weight when fighting Yana Kuniskaya. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, I may be getting that wrong, but Yana Kuniskaya's last two opponents both missed weight. You know, so it, it it is what it is. They both missed weight, and you know, and. Yana being a big woman, Yana has never missed weight. So Kuniskaya is like, there's no excuse for these girls to be missing weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm a true featherweight too. I walk around with that featherweight life too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 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 I'm, I'm with that featherweight life, but I'm fighting at bantamweight weight and I make that weight professionally. You know what I'm saying? Every single time you see me step on that and on that scale, I'm on weight. No matter which weight class it is that I'm fighting at. So I get what Yana's saying. I totally get what Yana's saying. So continuing on, Yana says, I would like to fight anyone from the rankings. The only fight that I want I don't want is Macy, as she has problems making the bantam weight the bantam weight limit recently. My last two opponents missed weight, and I feel it's not fair. So it it has nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying? not wanting to fight um, these people, you know what I'm saying, because Yana versus either Chelsea or Macy, th those are good fights. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I agree that Yana versus any of those two, uh, those fights should definitely take place at 145 pounds. I mean, come on, guys. You got these big women. I mean, th you, you're looking at arguably the three biggest women <clears throat> in the Bantamweight division, three of the biggest women. I mean, you got Kuniskaya, you got Chelsea Chandler, and you got fucking Macy Chasson. Like, dude, th th here's our 145-pound division that we claim we don't have. You know? I mean, it's, but anyways, um, yeah. So, Foxy is feeling a new sense of motivation since giving birth with notable wins over Vieira, Marion Reynaud, and Leon Lansbury. Kuniskaya has her eyes on the prize, and these fans will see the best version of her yet in 2023. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, Yana Kuniskaya, man, putting it out there, like, Yana not with the shit, she's like, you know, like I said, my last two opponents have missed weight, I feel like it's not fair, guys, one thing, you can say what you want to say about Yana Kuniskaya, but you can never say that Yana Kuniskaya has missed weight, you can never say that Yana Kuniskaya has looked bad on the scales, you can't never say that you've seen Yana Kuniskaya, you know what I'm saying, fade in the later rounds of a fight. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't ever say that you haven't seen Giannis Kuniskaya go out there and do what it is that she does to win a fight. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But this is how Yana feels about these fighters. You know, she I, I, Chelsea Chandler is not ranked. And Macy Chasson can't make weight. So those are two legit reasons why Yana Kuniskaya wouldn't want to fight either one of those people. But I can guarantee you it ain't because she's scared of them. This is your boy BJ, back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike, and if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and your boy is out.